Welcome to the Open Day Graduate of the Master of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis. My name is Paola Profeta and I am the program director of this uh, uh, course. So when we talk about politics and policy analysis, what are we talking about in general? We are talking about understanding governance and public policy challenges for the public and private sectors. So here you have some uh, uh, citations from representatives of the World Bank Group, of another important institutions for uh, media studies. And uh, as you see, they all reported this idea that today in our world and in the years to come, Successful professionals are expected to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of governance and public policy challenges for both public and private sectors. So study and learning uh, how to um, understand the uh, public, public and private sector in relation to governance and public policy is becoming really, really crucial. So Roberto Amorosino, the senior HR specialist of the World Bank Group, says that studies and learning tools capable of providing deep and broad international multidisciplinary exposure would help to produce the talent pool needed in both developing and developed countries. And the Bocconi MSc in politics and policy analysis seem to represent a step in the right direction for committed talent. Also, the other experts that we interviewed suggest exactly the same. We apply here the Bocconi method to the realm of politi political science, and this is going to provide students a flexible and effective toolkit with which to operate a government, international organization, and research institutes. So this is exactly the idea of developing this program. Political science at Bocconi is a quite uh, a relatively new field of study, but uh, this program uh, builds upon the expanding educational commitment of Bocconi in this area of study, which is at the intersection between many other disciplines such as science, including economics and political science. So there is an enormous and growing need worldwide of graduates with extensive knowledge and complete international perspective in the context of policy making. And with this program, we try really to design uh, uh, a course which will offer new and unique uh, knowledge uh, on the challenging of political, economic, and social dynamics, able to identify how the political process shapes policy outcomes. So this is really something which is highly required by international organizations, by institutions, by our economies. And this program builds upon all the knowledge at Bocconi and the uh, competence of our faculty in order to provide the better uh, perspective in the context of policy making. So uh, this MSc uh, has a distinct and innovative identity with respect to uh, previous uh, existing programs. It's relatively new, as you uh, probably already know, and the scope of the program is to provide you with a deep knowledge of political, economic, and social dynamics of the modern world and how to take actions in this context. We are also going to provide with the specific tools and the more appropriate tools to define, evaluate, and implement policies through rigorous quantitative methods in different socioeconomic political contexts. And finally, this program is going to develop a unique professional profile with qualified knowledge and advanced skills to analyze and evaluate political issues and implement innovative political strategies. So here again, we can report to many other people who have focused on the importance of understanding politics and policy analysis in the real world, in particular in current times. You see uh, here, Barack Obama said once that if people cannot trust their government to do the jobs for which it exists, to protect them and to promote their common welfare, all else is lost. We are going to provide deep knowledge of how government can provide exactly this goal to protect people and promote the common welfare. Michelle Obama once said that uh, 
you have to go to vote. And that that's the way we move forward. That's how we make progress for ourselves and for our country. So here we're going also to understand why voting is so important, democracies are important, not only for the political, but also for the economic process. But also in the private sector, it is widely recognized the relevance of these disciplines. Bill Gates, for example, said that governments will always play a huge part in solving big problems. They said public policies are uniquely able to provide resources to make sure solutions reach everyone who needs them. They also fund basic research, which is a crucial component of the innovation and improves the art for everyone. So the intersection between public and private is, again, one of the main uh, items and the main topics that we are going to develop during our studies. So uh, with the master program in politics and policy analysis, the students will acquire advanced skills in quantitative methods applied to political and social issues. So the methodology is strongly quantitative based. Uh, the students are also going to develop uh, understanding of socioeconomic political context in the complex global world. So we are going to uh, intersect economics with politics and with social sciences in order to really understand the complexity of the global world. And finally, of course, you will be prepared to access your professional career at the international and global level in both public and private sectors. So let me also remind you what Aristotle said in the past, politics is the master science. Okay, so let me go into the program structure of the Bocconi MSc in politics and policy analysis. Uh, this is a two year program. During the first year, which all students uh, will, um, uh, will study at Bocconi, uh, the objective, the goal of the first year is to acquire advanced knowledge of political theories in a comparative perspective, policies analysis and international relations. So uh, during the first semester, uh, students will follow the following courses. Methods and tools for policy analysis. This is a methodological course which will provide you with the basic and very important tools to analyze policies. So it's mainly empirical course, empirical methodology, and based on quantitative analysis. Then you will study welfare and public economics, public administration, Decisions and organizations, this is actually a theoretical course, so it's again a methodological course but on the theoretical point of view, so more uh, on theory rather than empirics. And finally, political science, the first model, which is topics in comparative politics. So at the end of the first semester, students will learn the key concepts of political theories and phenomena in a comparative perspective, as well as quantitative methods for theoretical game theory and empirical statistics and econometrics analysis regarding politics and public policy and the organization of public administration and its interaction with the private world. Uh, during the second semester, uh, there are additional uh, courses to be followed. Law and policy making, population dynamics and policies, economics and politics, political science, the second module, which is devoted to international relations and politics, and some seminars of soft skills. So at the end of the second semester, students will acquire advanced knowledge of international relations, the legal and institutional aspects of negotiations and implementation of international agreements, the crucial role of population dynamics and demographic changes. For example, we will study aging, migration, fertility, the evolution of gender roles, on political behavior and on the policy making process. The second year is much more flexible. So uh, students uh, will choose four elective courses um, among a wide range of courses offered from traditional areas of expertise in economics and management, major areas of political science. So there is a lot of freedom. This one course has to be long to the political science area and the other courses are completely free and can be chosen uh, within the very large offer at Bocconi University. We have also activated specific courses for students in politics and policy analysis, such as institutions and institutional development, politics in the EU, politics of conflict, 
students will also have the possibility to follow the so-called high-level courses at the PhD level, which are focused, for example, on gender and politics, migration and refugees, That's just to mention some topics which can be interesting for our students. Uh, there will be also two double degrees program, one with uh, FGV and Sao Paulo, Brazil, one with the University of Manai in Germany, and of course the exchange programs uh, with major um, major institutions and universities all over the world. We just mentioned here Sciences Po, Rasmus, Australian National University, Seoul, and the National University of Singapore. Uh, then all students will conduct an internship. Uh, they also have to study two foreign languages and they will prepare their thesis. Let me tell you something about a, a particular um, and very important feature of this uh, uh, Master of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis, which is the possibility to have a double degree program. Double degree program means that uh, our students will have the possibility to have two degrees from the two partner institutions at the end of the second year. So uh, it's a really unique possibility in the era of European international public policy and politics, which is given to standing students uh, they will have uh, really experts in public policy and politics as teachers and they will really deepen their knowledge in public policy and politics by studying in two rather than just one world-renowned universities. So this double degree is really an opportunity to boost your career at the international and global level in both public and private sector with a very strong international exposure. And we have prepared for you uh, with the Master uh, of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis at Bocconi, very, very good opportunities of double degree. The first one is with the famous London School of Economics and Political Sciences, so LSE. And this is the Master in European and International Public Policy. The program focuses on European politics, policy making in an international context with elective courses that provide a critical assessment of Europe's role in the world, spanning fields of political science, law, economic, social policy, and other science. Uh, participants will enjoy a unique combination of courses, internships, and will really gain research experience when completing their thesis. So basically, if you enroll in a double degree, you will spend the first year at Bocconi during the first year of the program of the master program in um, politics and policy analysis. So the courses that I told you before for the first year, and then you will spend your second year at LSC uh, enrolled in the master in European international public policy following their program. At the end, at the, at the end of the second year, so after that, you will receive two degrees. It's the LSE Master of Science in European and International Public Policy and the Bocconi Master of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis. This is the program, the more detailed program for the LSE Master of Science in European and International Public Policy. You see, this will be your second year of the program and uh, you will have seminars and workshops, you will have two core courses to be chosen among three, integration from a global governance perspective, European policymaking, international cooperation, analytical politics and policymaking in Europe. You will also have professional skills development engaging with Europe and evidence and analysis in policy making. And then there is a list of electives which is really, really uh, wide, so it's really broad. You have a lot of elective courses among which you can choose what you prefer, what you think is more appropriate for your future career. So European policy making, but also Brexit and also Europeanization, public opinion, the media, the world trade, culture, the role of Europe in global migration, and so far and so on. The second opportunity, the second partner school with which we have developed this, we have designed this specific double degree for, for you, so for the students of the Master of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis is Sciences Po which is, as you all know, um, a very prestigious school in the area of political science. And here we have two possibilities. The first one is to enroll in the Master in Public Policy. Uh, 
This is anchored in social sciences with a focus on exploring the intersection between public affairs and cutting edge technologies and an emphasis on policy and decision making 2.0. So the master will really keep students with a multidimensional and panoramic vision. The curriculum is built around a thorough core module in public economics, public policy, ethics, technology, management, international governance and law, with a choice of a variety of electives that examine current policy debates with insights from academics and practitioners. You will enjoy, of course, a unique combination of courses and internships and will gain research experience while completing their thesis. At the end, as before, you will receive two degrees, and here you will receive the Science Po Master in Public Policy. This is the specific program, uh, the specific structure of the program. Uh, again, in the first semester, you have some common core curriculum, plus some, uh, something that they call the policy stream, free electives, and the case study. In the second semester, again, a common core curriculum, leadership management and organization, policy stream, and two electives. The policy stream can belong to one of these uh, uh, um, courses that you see on the right of this table. So uh, there are really very uh, a lot of possibilities from cultural policy management, digital technology, economics and public policy, policy, energy, global health, management and public affairs, regulation. It really depends on where you want to specialize. So uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's another possibility. Of course, the rest of the, the rest of the program is the same. So you still have to do an internship, the foreign languages and the thesis. So we highly recommend internship to be uh, to be taken between the first and the second year to all double degree students. But at SESPO, you can also uh, choose another possibility, which is the Master in European Affairs. And the Master in European Affairs offers a comprehensive program of instruction for students keen to embark on European career. So we are going to educate specialists in European issues who can easily adapt to multicultural and multidisciplinary environment. So you will have another possibility to have a double degree, uh, two degrees. One is our Master in, of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis at Bocconi, and the other one is the Master in European Affairs at Sciences Po. Again, this is the program structure uh, of the Master in European Affairs at Sciences Po that will coincide with your second year uh, of program. The first semester, we have Common Core Curriculum, the EU in Times of Crisis, Ethic Disruptive, Policy Stream 1, Elective, and the Case Study. And the second semester, again, we have a Common Core Curriculum, Regulated Internal Market, the Economics of European Integration, policy, two policy streams and two electives. And the policy streams are the ones that I already mentioned for the, uh, for the other program. Okay? So uh, let me tell you now uh, about career options. Career options, of course, are a lot. And let me tell you also that now, during the, uh, with the pandemic and uh, the um, outbreak of COVID-19, understanding public policy and designing public policies in order to deal with this uh, uh, situation has become really very, very important. So a lot of institutions and organizations and also firms um, are going to select experts of the economic, political, demographic scenarios which involve understanding how to design the correct policies and how to design the measures both at the firm level but at the, also at the institutional level to design the policies which taking into account all the scenarios that we are going to explain, to evaluate and to understand are able to design the best measures, the best policies in order to solve uh, the uh, current crisis. So this has become particularly relevant in times of crisis. So you will become politics experts or public policy experts in several fields, political organizations, international organizations, authorities, think tanks and lobbies, public administration, NGOs and non-profit organizations, large companies and consultancy firms. Of course, some of you will also want to continue their studies. We had quite a few in the last, uh, in the, uh, in the last cohorts and you continue your studies with, uh, uh, with the PhD before starting your careers in the private or public sector. 
as politics experts, you're going to evaluate and analyze political issues related to the global socioeconomic and political scenario. And as we know now, after the pandemic emergency and COVID-19, we know that the scenario is really changing and may change continuously and very fast. And therefore, having the good tools to analyze and to understand these changes is a clear asset, now more than ever. And you also contribute to the design and implementation of innovative political strategies. So the political expert is someone who knows very well the economic, social, political scenario, demographic scenario, knows how to deal with the global challenges and how to design political strategies which are going to be successful in this scenario. Political issues are very large. We may talk about international relations, institutional relations, public affairs, political campaigns, interaction between political politicians and stakeholders. The other, uh, the other profile that we have identified is the public institutional, political, media, and diplomatic affairs expert. So an expert in several fields, but always with the idea that you need to know how the social, economic, and political scenario works, and you need to know how to evaluate policies in order to design them and to adapt them to the different contexts. The second profile is the public policy expert. The public policy expert is the person in charge of the evaluation and implementation of policy issues. The evaluation, the design and implementation of public policies. And when we talk about public policies, we talk about several very urgent matters like migration, gender, taxation, welfare state, anti-poverty policies, anti-crime, intergenerational, development of public-private policies. All this will be policies that we are going to analyze deeply during our, uh, our studies, during our course, during our program, and you will be able to, to have the techniques, the more appropriate techniques and tools to evaluate them and to apply, which can be applied in any other circumstances and in any other situation. So you will be really an expert of this. And this is again a profile which is going to be really very, very uh, required in the next future because we need new policies and we need how to evaluate them, to monitor them, what are the costs, what are the benefits, how to implement them in the real world. Of course, there will be also the option to, uh, to take this uh, knowledge into the policy program officers or to work as an advisor, for example, for large consultancy companies. Okay, so that is the, uh, my presentation. And I'm really looking forward to welcome you at the Master of Science in Politics and Policy Analysis next year.